Hello everyone, this is Visa 15 welcome me back to another episode of Let's Play Dragon Quest 8, and I am here at the little outcropping on the Dark Isle, so... There's a couple... Wait a second. Oh, oh crap. Yeah, I, I just, uh, must have missed the edge. Well, um, I have two monsters that I want to fight up here. Um, one I'm gonna keep, um, the first one that I'm gonna fight, I, I really don't keep, um, that often because, uh, well, one of his stats is really good and, uh, the other two stats are pretty horrible. And at least I, I get to show you where, where I'm actually aiming for, aiming for, so. Okay. He is the most powerful attack monster well, single monster that you can get. Um, however, uh, his desperate attacks, uh, they tend to miss about half the time, so. And, uh, here's, uh, another one of those, uh, areas that's, uh, pretty good for, uh, grinding for gold. Um, can't remember if I mentioned it in the last episode, but, uh, <coughs> to go along with, uh, up here and, uh, beside the, uh, ire in the World of Light, uh, th this, uh, area is, uh, definitely, uh, good for gold, uh, Luckily, uh, the gold golems are, uh, weak enough now that we really don't have to, uh, bother with, uh, calling our monster team or, or anything like that. However, I have noticed that, uh, the gold golems in, uh, these, uh, three areas, um, here are the Dark Gyre and on top of the Isle of Dios. Um, they do tend to be a little stronger than, uh, when they're, uh, down on the, uh, Isle of Neos. Anyways, uh, this, uh, patroller, uh, that I'm fighting, uh, I really, uh, don't keep him because, uh, as I said, uh, when he does the desperate attack, he tends to miss about half the time. Um, you can put him in a team with, uh, two of the Cyclopses that we're gonna get, but... But, um, as you can see with, uh, the one Cyclops, um, when it does, ooh, when it does desperate attack it, Double sits all the time, so. And you can get uh, three Cyclopses, so. You know. Really, the Patroller, uh. See, he's got a good amount of hit points. Really good attack, but. His defense and his agility is, uh. Just nothing. I want to make sure that there was uh, no other treasure chests at least in sight of here. So. Okay. Now, the one other monster that I'm going to get up here is... Uh, oh, two gold golems, I'll leave him. He's, uh, he's pretty strong, but... Uh, 
I deem him uh, pretty necessary, uh, especially for uh, the last monster fight versus um, versus Mori. Um, he does a desperate attack, which uh, really you need to take out one, if not two, of the enemies. So and. I'll just run from I'll let, explain them uh, later on when I fight them again, but... Um... Versus, uh... Mori, uh... It's almost necessary that you have him for, in uh, your team for the desperate attack. Because, uh... The only one that... The only other one that does it as often as him is the, uh... Gold Golem and, uh... Really, the gold golem is uh, too weak to do anything right now, so. And uh, after I defeat him, I can uh, bring him to the uh, monster arena, which I will uh, probably do next. And um, I want to put him in a team with. Uh, um, uh, Brickman and, uh, Goldman, um, is he gonna survive? Huh, gotta call my other team. And it was, uh, with, uh, Brickman and Goldman, uh, in the same group with, uh, Stoneman, um, it, it forms probably the most powerful monster that you can get in the game. However, uh, as you might see, um, kind of hoping not, but as you might see, uh, there is a little bit of a problem with that, with doing that. So, Get rid of Hori. Okay, well. And, uh, there is, uh, one treasure chest that we want to get up here also. And it is the... Rune Shield. Which we can uh, use in a mix later on uh, for a shield for Jessica. Um, however, I'm going to sign off for now. This is Viso15. You've been watching Let's Play Dragon Quest 8. And when I meet you in the next episode, I will be over in the Monster Arena. And um, I will form the team that makes the Mighty Mizen. So, I will uh, see you up there and uh, have a good day.